What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Game Over Kirk, man. Welcome back to Banjo Kazoopal. Oh, shit! Oh, son! That was pro. Hope how are you all doing today? I hope you're all doing quite well. I'm feeling, feeling fresh and feeling fine. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna finish up after this episode and have some breakfast and start doing some animation. I think. I think it's about time. Something smells like it's cooking, but I'm not cooking anything. Weird. All right, so we've still got five jiggles to find. I know one of them. We just need a couple more gingos for this stage. And that's that taken care of. So there's that. I know there's one up at the top of the lighthouse. Oh, and you get one for breaking all of these too, don't you? Yeah, this is like the flying test. I forgot about this one. I kind of annoy that buttons bottoms out at 50 feathers. I wish it could be more feathers than that. <laughs> That's all this episode is gonna be, it's just me. Me doing that. BAM! Ah, uh, I got something to talk about. Rare. People shitting on Rare, saying that after Nintendo 64 days they went to shit. I would argue that they went to shit before the end of the Nintendo 64 days. As I, as I stated, like... The warning signs were there. The warning signs were there with Banjo-Tooie, in my opinion, which was a mess of a game. The warning signs were there with Donkey Kong 64. Conker's Bad Fur Day came out really, really well, but that was in production for a long time before shit started going south. But, um, there are certain games that people, like, people always say that, like, Microsoft killed Rare, and yeah, Grab by the Ghoulies was shit, and Conker Live and Reloaded censored a lot of what was in the original game, which was... odd. The, the Microsoft, the, re, the redone version was actually more heavily censored. I'll never understand that. But... I would definitely... Oops. I wonder if I can climb this on the bottom part. Yeah, I can. Oh, good. I was worried I'd have to try to fly up underneath that, get that. Um... But I mean, during the Nintendo 64 era, I would argue that Kamiya, while not being a fantastic game, is still quite a good game, even if it does have its issues. And I would argue that the two Viva Pinata games are just as good as, if not better than anything that they made during the Nintendo 64 era, which not many people would agree with. And that's kind of probably sacrilege to a lot of people. But um, I, I really love the Viva Pinata games. And I will not apologize for... Ah, uh, memories. I remember this. The struggle. Just trying to pick up this fucking Mumbo token. Just fly into it. Damn it! Or I could just do this, I suppose. That worked too. Um, I gotta land on that last thing over there, don't I? That's what I was doing. Uh, but yeah, I mean everything after Viva Pinata. That's when thing. That's when Microsoft started making them just do avatars and stuff. But I mean, at that point, that was happening because. Sadly, like Viva Pinata, like didn't sell. Like those, both those games are fantastic. No one cared, no one bought them, because it wasn't what they wanted. Metro is only Nuts and Bolts I haven't played, so I, I don't have an opinion on. Um, I know people shit on it, but from what I've seen of it, it doesn't look like it's necessarily a bad game, it's just not the game people wanted. Which is a really big distinction to make. As far as I'm concerned. Uh, wait, did I fuck it up? Oh, I did. I'm confused. What did I do there? That's because I was so busy talking about fucking Viva Pinata and how wonderful it is that <laughs> I fucked that up. Oh, there was a Mumbo token back here too, wasn't there? Yes, there was. Kill this crab to get this. So it's not this one. I guess there must be a whole bunch of these now. Yeah, treasure! Uh, I must have to do the charge attack. Yeah, boy! Wrecked. So that's six. Alright, so we've still got four left to find. One of them's the Jinjos, one of them's the lighthouse, one of them's the sand castle puzzle. Oh, I have to shit into the bucket! That's right, I remember. Shit into the bucket, and then that drains the water. 
and then there's like a puzzle down in there. Yeah, I'm remembering. Actually, that's not where I wanted to go. It's all coming back to me. Do, 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 do. Now, up we go. We'll do the lighthouse next. I like the fact when you get up really high, the music stops. I always thought that was really a cool touch. What do we got here? There's a little stairway to a single note. <laughs> it's a weird loading screen between two areas. Between two areas, you can just travel between anyway. Odd, but whatever. I'll I'll leave it. I think my egg supply is still fine. There's more feathers I'm getting low on now. Oh, that's right, I have to fucking use the spring jump all the way up here. You can use the spring jump for shortcuts. Hey, a ginger! It's a gingy mingy. Come here, buddy. How many is that? No! Oh, that was close. That would have made me sad. Oh, sweet, that was the last one. Yeah! I'm s smashing this out. Banjo Kazooie, you're all right. For now, early levels are all right. Once I get the Clanker's Cavern, I'll just be like, oh god, this game. <laughs> why did I think? Why did I think playing this would be a good idea? No, even if I'm not the hugest fan of the series, I still think Banjo Kazooie deserves all the praise it gets from people. I still think it's a quality, it's a quality title. I remembered that one. This says one of those switches in each level I have to take care of. Alright, I was worried there that they wouldn't let me come up here and I'd have to fly the whole way up. Alright, now... There should be a token, a jiggle up here, yes! Okay, so what have I got left now? I've got a... Poop in the bucket. Now, poop in the bucket. What else was there? I missed a mumbo token, which was over here. If I can get that. Right, Kazooie. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be all right. Man, you're really right on time, aren't you? Interesting fact about that shark. Um, that's a really clever way of not just, like, it keeps people from going out of bounds, which is, I thought that was a Mumbo token back there for some reason. Which is obviously good, you don't want people going into out of bounds areas of your game. But, well, I mean, that's mainly what it does. Okay, there's a life over there by that, which, actually, I might get some health there. Might not be a bad idea. Getting a little low, not that dying really has any consequences now that you don't lose your notes. That's right, the bucket's right there. Okay. Let's go shit in the bucket! Ugh. Ah, okay, baby, don't jump that way. Too much slide. Now, bucket man, let's... Hey! Classic. Two eggs! Two eggs to block it. How does the bucket empty the water? That's what I don't understand. Okay, so now we've got... Oh, damn it! I wanted to get up there. I wonder if I can jump up from the... Fuck. I'm sure I can just run and jump on there. Yeah. Camera, what are you doing? Camera, you're getting hooked on the shit! Something that does annoy me is when you're jumping, doing that jump as Kazooie, you can't switch to a flying... It'd be really nice if you could, like, jump using... I'm gonna have to fly and land on it, I think, to get those notes. The camera is getting locked onto the... That's not an issue with the port. That was always there. The camera's getting badly locked onto the, uh... Well, you want me to hammer in the word Banjo-Kazooie? Getting locked onto the geometry. I hate that. B-A-N-J-O 
Tough puzzle for kids. Um, where's the J? Over here. Is that a J? Yes. No. Talk about talk about exhilarating. Yeah. Ugh. It feels fun playing something like this again. It's been so many years since I've touched... I mean, I played through Super Mario Galaxy 2 for the first time a couple of, uh... Was it, like, two years ago? And that was, like, the last time I played a game in, in this particular specific genre, because I don't feel like, um... Super... What was it? Super Mario 3D World? Like, I love that game, but because the camera is locked in place, it doesn't feel quite like one of these... one of these games. It is a shame that this genre is something that bit the dust, though. Even though I wasn't a huge fan of it, there was a lot of potential there for the genre as a whole to uh, do some interesting stuff. Okay, so I got that. What's left? I don't remember. I've got these guys up here. There must be five notes left on top of that sandcastle. And then I've got one jiggy left somewhere to find. That's gonna annoy the hell out of me. Alright, let's uh... Climb back up here. Where is that last jiggy? God damn it, Kazooie! I turned that off! Stop using it! Thank you. So, I wonder if I can... Oh yeah, there's the little wings there, that'll work. Where was that last Jiggy? There's a life. I'm gonna fly around, I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna see if I can find anything that I missed. I wish there was a way of, like, aiming the camera down so I could better see what exactly I'm flying over. I hope that's... Damn it! Why can't I just... Oh, I can just do that. Why well, isn't my face red? Okay, so I've got... One more jiggy. And it wouldn't be inside one of those statues because... I already found one in there, and they wouldn't hide two in statues, because that would be a little too repetitive and easy. Which, you know, I'm glad they didn't do that. Um, but where could it be? There was one underneath those mines already. Where on earth... Wait a minute, when I came up here, there was like a side path that I didn't take. Maybe that has the answers! The camera can hang on. Alright, there's something over here. Definitely something. Alright, jump up, buddy! This looks like a path to some kind of something something. What do we got? Eggs. Could be eggs based puzzle. Yes! Mmm! We did it! Oh man, in half an hour. Yeah, there you go. That dance is well learned. Good work, Banji. Banji man. Alright. That's wicked. We got them all. Alright, so now... Let's uh, exit this stage, I suppose, and get that last jiggy that was outside of the, um... That last jiggy that was outside the level. And then we'll call it an episode, and we'll be done, and it'll be great. Really good level. I like this level a lot, as I said. I think it's pretty great. And I don't have any complaints about it. Yeah, I'm feeling good. 
Now let's get that heart piece, that heart piece, that jigsaw piece. I think it's just up here. So I think the next level is Clanker's Cabin, I believe? It's around here somewhere, I don't quite remember the way to it. Anyway, thank you for joining me ladies and gentlemen, I hope you join me next time as I try to remember where Clanker's Cabin was. Come here, you turd. Thank you for the piece of health. Um... I feel like there's caverns around here somewhere. Anyway, I think, if, uh, I think it's through here actually. Let's just get to it. I think this cavern is where the game really starts to get uh, bigger. For lack of a better term. It really starts to open up a bit. I think this is where Clankus Cavern is. Oh, wait, no, this is for a different level entirely. Click Lock Wood. Well, I don't want to go to Click Clock Wood. Anyway, we'll find Clanker's Cavern next time. Thank you for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a fantastic day and a fantastic week. I'll, of course, see you next time. Peace out, and as always, have a good one.